Hey everybody, um, my name is Louis Sumanaro and uh, we have a gun shop here in Montana called The Custom Shop and today we are going to do a segment on um, timing on a Colt Python revolver. Okay, so I have a couple pythons um, here on the bench, okay? I got a 6 inch stainless and I got a 6 inch blue. Both of these guns are here for a full restoration. So I'm going to show you guys, okay, what it entails, what I do specifically, okay, to make sure that this gun is mechanically sound prior to doing a restoration. Okay, so let's start out with uh, a six inch stainless Col Python, okay? So no matter what gun it is, okay, regardless, um, the first thing that we're going to want to do, okay, is open the cylinder, okay, and make sure that the gun is unloaded, that there's no ammunition in the gun whatsoever, okay? Once we opened it, we cleared it, we checked it, we can close it, and then we can go right now and dive right into how to check the timing. To check the timing, we have to make sure that nothing's bound up, okay? So we have to be able to spin the cylinder, okay, and see if this spins freely. Okay, this one spins okay, not the greatest, okay? Um, and the reason why I'm mentioning that is because if this cylinder is not spinning freely, okay, when we go to cycle the gun, okay, we want to make sure, okay, that the hand is pushing the ratchet, okay, freely, okay, so that each chamber cycles properly. Okay, so in checking the timing on here, what we're going to do is we are going to check single action and we're going to check double action, okay, and then we're going to check a bunch of other things also. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take my thumb, I'm right handed, and I'm going to pull back. The hammer okay okay so right now what i am looking at is the cylinder bolt okay which comes up through the bottom of the frame we want to make sure that that comes up and it snaps back halfway through the approach okay because that's where it's supposed to come back to okay and then when we pull back the rest of the way the cylinder bolt locks into the notch, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cycle this six times and make sure that in single action, Okay, so right now we know that the single action timing, okay, on this gun is correct. Okay, the cylinder bolt is coming up halfway through the approach, okay, and then it's locking into the notch, okay, properly. All right, so the next thing that we're going to check, okay, is our double action timing. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so we're going to pull this back. Okay, so even though this gun has a little drag because it needs to be cleaned, okay, um, this gun does time in single action and in double action. Okay, so there's other things that we check also, okay, um, and what we're going to check for, okay, when we are checking to see if a gun is timing, okay, cleaning is a huge element, okay, I'm doing this video and I'm showing you guys, um, this gun dirty. So if you look at this, okay, I mean, this. look at all the sludge here in the ratchet, okay? You got all kinds of dirt and grease in here, okay, which normally I would clean this gun before I check the timing, but I'm just doing a quick check right now just to make sure that this gun is in the ballpark, 
Okay, if it times dirty, it'll time even better clean, okay? Okay, so what's very, very important is that inside this notch, okay, that it's clean and it's free of debris, you know, powders, okay, dirt, whatever it may be in here, okay? Because this is where the cylinder bolt goes in and we wanna make sure that the cylinder bolt goes in far enough for the proper lockup, okay? And now that we're talking about lockup, let's just check this out. So a lot of people will be like, hey, my gun's got tight lockup. Okay, well, this is how you're gonna determine that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we are going to take our finger, we're gonna put it on the trigger and we're gonna pull back and we're gonna hold it tightly, okay? And then you're gonna wiggle back and forth. See, and that by me wiggling back and forth, okay, and I'm pulling tight, okay, there's no movement whatsoever, okay, so we know that the alignment, okay, from the barrel to the cylinder is perfect, okay, and it locks up tight, there's no slop, okay, there's, you know, like a lot of people who home gunsmith, okay, that think they need a new cylinder bolt, okay, because it broke or something like that, Okay, well, that cylinder bolt has to be hand-fitted to the notch, okay, that's in that cylinder. Okay, so there's so many different things that can go wrong with these guns if they're in the wrong people's hands, okay? But we're just checking right now to make sure that this gun is mechanically fine prior to a restoration. Hey, everybody. Thank you for watching, okay? And we would like to know here at the Custom Shop, what is your favorite revolver? If it's a Colt, that's great. If it's a Smith & Wesson or it's something else, let us know what it is. And please, everybody, we'd like you to hit that button and please subscribe. And uh, until then, we'll see you with another video.